man. So, bro, when I tell y'all I'm disappointed as hell, man, I'm disappointed, dog. But uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this situation right here. So, Gunplay is speaking out after the video that I showed you guys earlier with him going off at G5 because the DJ played a 50 Cent record, a very disrespectful one. After giving him a birthday shout out, the homie play I Smell a Pussy by 50 Cent. Knowing the beef that Gunplay and 50 got, bro, I'm like, what? Now, Gunplay's actions was way overboard, and he's addressing that, but we're going to talk about more of like that decision by the DJ, man. So, um, listen, Gunplay took to his Instagram to say this right here. He says, July 18, 2023, my wife threw me a birthday party surprising me with my brother Rick Ross and MMG family, a custom red ruby Rolex made by Frankie Diamonds, and a live performance by upcoming artist Zoe Brinks. After the birthday party, we decided to celebrate my 44th at G5 Miami. That's the booty bar. We got some good ass food though. <laughs> oh man, that pasta. All right, let's let's stay focused. When we when we first arrived, it was all love. After the bottle girls brought out our bottles and ones, DJ Juice started to shout me out for my birthday and started to play Many Men by 50 Cent. At this point, I just vibed out and let it play. DJ Juice decided to shout my name out once more and play I Smell Pussy by 50 cent if y'all don't know what that is that's i smell pussy is that you irv i smell pussy is that you ja niggas get so emotional you remind me of my bitch <laughs> i'm sorry gunplay bro I, I i'm just singing the song it was a good time but i, I like I'm, I'm from miami feel me care city to be exact i fuck with gunplay heavy feel me rolling bible on the dash and mini mo mini mo let's let's continue bro he says at this point i felt disrespected and tried how i reacted is clear in the video i never once intentionally pushed my wife or wanted to cause her harm the clip that went viral was the end of the altercation i didn't know who was touching me and i wanted them off g5 miami owner rick taylor has not only extended an apology DJ Juice was fired and not paid for the set. I apologize to the innocent bystanders who were threatened in my moment of rage. I, li I love my wife and my fans, Don Logan. So that's that what Gunplay got to say. He also put right here to my fans and wife, I apologize and love y'all. Disco Rick and Kids in G5 Miami. Thank you all for the love and support. So Disco Rick, was um he had a staple at KOD. And he was doing his thing at KOD. Continue right now to do his thing at G5 Miami. Those are the booty bars. I'm strip clubs so people don't understand why I'm saying booty bars. I like saying booty bars because it's different and, and, and stupid. All right, so um, now Gunplay is taking accountability for his actions. People on his ass. Now, look what this DJ right here got to say. So this is DJ Me. DJ Me often works at the office Miami. Office, uh, I, I think he works at, he works at pretty much all the strip clubs and some other clubs, but DJ Me, is a well-known DJ and this is what he had to say he said this has to be part of the show because ain't no way a DJ gonna play like that I can't believe that now um he saying what I thought as far as this had to be a part of the loving hip-hop situation but the wife said crazy part is we weren't even filming DJ me says yeah that's crazy shaking my head another DJ saying uh, with DJ Willie D 954 that's a brow DJ says that man knew what he was doing that's common sense D Money says, I can't believe that nigga Juice would even do some shit like that. So, Juice. DJ Juice is a Miami DJ. So, that's why I'm hurt. I'm shocked because I'm like, why would he even make that move? How why would he made that move? Now, I don't know him personally. I've been around him before. Um, um, been around him through a homie that I got um, named Radio James, a DJ down here. But, seeing that situation play out and that's the DJ that did it, I'm like, I don't... You know, he wanted people to talk shit behind the mic. You know, DJs talk shit and shit, but I wouldn't think he would go that far. So I did reach out to Juice. I haven't heard a response yet because I wanted to get this video up. I don't have time to wait for it. If he does respond to give his side of the situation and try to clear up whatever he was thinking in that situation, I will let you guys know. But as far as now, but as of now, that's coming off a little weird, man. And kind of disloyal to the crib. You gotta be loyal to the crib, man. You gotta be loyal to the soil, dog, for sure, for sure. But um, I don't know. We're gonna see what he has to say as far as like why he did that or if that's a lie we gonna see but y'all gotta let me know what y'all think in the comment section below i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here those boy stacy and i fuck with you reason why because you you fuck with me hey i'm out